everyone, this is Stephen Strawn of the Cast Iron Cookware channel, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. How many times have you been working on a piece of cast iron and you've done everything right, whether you use the electrolysis method, the lye tank, or even the oven cleaner in the bag method? You've got it in the sink and you've done all the scrubbing and you got it clean and you're ready to put your first layer of seasoning on it. And then you wind up with flash rust. I'm telling you, flash rust will sneak up on you before you realize it. And you don't want to season over this stuff because it'll, it'll affect your first layer. I'm going to show you how to deal with flash rust where you'll never have to deal with it again. Coming right up. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take an SOS pad and we're going to use hot water. I'm going to make sure there's no residue from whatever cleaning system that you use, whether you used a light tank, electrolysis tank, or oven cleaner in a bag system. I'm going to go over the whole piece, get off all the residue from the process. And we're going to use hot water. We're not going to use cold water. We'll rinse off the soap from our SOS pad and any little bits of metal that might have broke off the pad. Go over really good with dish soap. inside and out. And we're going to rinse with hot water. As hot as you can get it. As hot as you can stand it. Because we want it to we want to go ahead and Get the pan warm to accept the buzzy wax or whatever cast iron seasoning that you use. I personally prefer buzzy wax. But I want to get the pan warm so it'll go on a little bit easier. You got a little bit of steam coming off the pan. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is we want to dry it. We want to towel dry it as quickly as we can because we are working against time because flash rust is called flash rust because it's fast. It'll get on you before you know it. And we're not trying to get it absolutely bone dry like you would if you were going to put it in the oven. We just want to get just most of the surface moisture off of it. And before it is really completely dry, we want to hit it with a paste coat of seasoning oil. I'm going to use Buzzy Wax. You can use whatever seasoning oil that you use. I personally prefer Buzzy. Buzzy is a great product. And the people at Buzzy Wax are cast iron people. You can use a cloth, but I personally just like to rub it in with my hands. That way I can get it in every little spot around the heat ring, in the letters. And after you've been working with uh, an electrolysis tank, now be careful, don't slip and drop it. But after you've been working with an electrolysis tank and cast iron, your hands get rough, so this is good for it. And there we go, we have a thick paste coat on the entire piece. 
Now you can go back and wipe off any excess with a paper towel. Okay, at this point you have a layer of oil or seasoning product all over your cast iron cookware and it's not going to rust. It's not going to flash rust. You don't have to worry about getting in a hurry with it. You can wait your time until you get more pieces to put in your oven. One thing that you want to do is before you do put it in your oven and heat it up to apply your first seasoning coat, you want to wipe it down as dry as you possibly can because what happens is when you got too thick of a coat even if you haven't gotten to the smoke point it will turn gummy and you'll have problems with your seasoning so before you heat it up to season it your first time wipe it down as good as you possibly can then heat it up take it out of the oven wipe it down again make sure you got seasoning on it but one thing you want to do is make sure that it looks dry because one of the biggest problems with people seasoning cast iron that they have is putting too much oil or leaving too much oil on it. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and I'll keep them coming. Thanks for watching the Cast Iron Cookware channel.